Hey guys, so Sun and welcome to Project 78 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this dad jokes application by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So now here you can see we have this button right here. If I click on that, so it will not use a random joke right here. Okay, so anytime you click on this button, so it will not use a dad joke. So we are going to be getting this data from a dad's jokes API, which I'm going to show you in this video. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code and write our code. Hi right, guys, so welcome to Project 78 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating yet another jokes uh, projects but in this case we are going to be using another api which is called like dad jokes i can has dad jokes.com not jokes but just joke.com anyways to create that first of all we are going to be creating a folder given name of like 078 and now let me just give a name of like dad jokes or yeah i guess I'll do that, that would be fine now inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be style.css and the third one will be just app.js for javascript so now let me just make that a bit bigger so we can just focus on our code all right so the first thing i would do is i'll just write doc type html now let's just change the title to be like uh dad da da dad jokes and now let's just link that to our style sheet and also to our javascript so now let me just hide this metadata for now right click on it and open it with a live server so we are now live so for html we are not going to be writing crazy html but we are going to be writing a div with the id of container and inside this container we are going to be writing h1 of dad jokes and now let me just write dad dad but it gives us a uh, let me just write a joke uh-huh let me just click on this emoji i guess that would be fine you can choose whichever kind of emoji you like and now let me just create a button with the id of btn and the class of btn okay so here i'm going to just pass like jug in here not jug but jugs not jugs but jug and now let me just create finally a div with the id of content and save it and that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to go to our css and now let's just style that a bit so i'm going to select my body and change the background color to be like 77 bfa1 and save it and this is how it looks like now the next thing which you have to do is to get our container inside this container we are going to be using a display of flex flex direction will be colon justify counter will be center align items will be also center or family i'm going to just change that to sans serif and you can choose it to wherever you want all right so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to get our button which is this button right here okay so now i'm going to just put a margin not bottom but top will be just 20 vh and border will now let's just remove that and also the background will be transparent not a background color just a background all right so i'm going to have to put those columns in there and color will be totally white okay so now i'm going to just press a border of two pixels solid white and also padding will be just like 10 pixel to top and bottom and 50 pixel to left and right and outline will be none and finally cursor will be pointer so i'm going to move this outline in here so everything is looking cool so now if you just save that so here you can see this is our button now the next thing that you have to do is that we have to select our content and now let's just style that a bit so i'm going to just select my content and margin will be auto and padding i'm going to just provide a padding of like 4 v edge and font size will be just 1.2 uh rims and also max width i'm going to provide like 700 pixel and margin top come on margin top will be just 20 pixels so seven and we can see that because we don't have any content whatsoever right now anyways so now i already forgot which is to style this h1 so underneath this body i'm going to just write like h1 and margin will be totally auto and font size will be 10 vh and this is that and now this is how it looks like anyway so we are totally done with html and also with css as well so now let's just jump right into our javascript and provide our interactivity to it so before getting into a javascript i just kind of want to show you the documentation like where you can get that um jokes from so you can just type like i can has dad joke.com slash api so it will bring you to this website right here these documentation if you want to learn more about that so feel free to do that i'm not going to read through all of that because it will take a lot of time <laughs> so what i'm here for is just for this link so i'm going to just copy this link and paste it right here and i want to comment it out for now so if you want to go to the main page so you can just remove this api and hit enter and it will bring you to this main page right here okay you can just search for random jokes search on jokes you can submit your new joke if you have one 
I didn't did that to be <laughs> to be honest. But if you want to read the documentation, so there is that API. So you just have to type like I can has h a z dot joke dot com slash API, and you can get your um jokes from here so that's that now the next thing which you have to do that we want to get this button and we want to attach the click event on it so for that we are going to be using document dot get element by id of ptn and also let me just try to add even a listener of click so once we click on it so you want to just uh call this uh, joke method i mean like joke function which we are going to be creating just in a second so now let's just create our joke method so i mean like joke function why the hell am i with saying method all the time async async it will now equal to a function and now let's just get given name of like joke and now let con config and will be now equals to this curly braces and now let's just pass our headers and it will be now equals to accept an application slash json so now if you just save that everything is working the way we expect him to work i don't need this uh configs we are going to be getting our first data so we are going to be storing that in a variable and a weight of fetch and now let's just pass our link so now i'm going to copy that you know i'm going to cut it from here i already show your documentation so you know where to search for and now let me just pass a quotes and here you're going to be passing our config Okay, the next thing which you have to do is that we have to get our json data so for that we are going to be using b not b but a dot json and now let's just get it and now we store that inside a b variable so now we are going to be just rendering that to our content uh container so in our html and it will be now equals to b dot joke and now we are totally done with this project so if you just click on this button this joke button it will give us it should have to give us a joke i guess i messed around something you know what i misspelled except <laughs> it will see e p t in this case so now if you save that now if you click on it so it will not give us a random joke right here so coffee has a tough time at my house every morning it gets mugged <laughs> so click on another one <laughs> and you can have a lot of jokes right here just click through and it will all right so now let's just read this one what's et short for he's only got a little like anyhow i'm not gonna read through uh, I just broke my guitar. It's okay. I won't fret. <laughs> Anyhow, it's kind of a silly jokes, by the way. It's not that much cool. And so this is the API. If you want to read more about that, so just, you just have to go to like I can has uh, deadjoke.com slash API and it will bring you to this web page right here. Anyway, so we are totally done with this project. So I think that was it about today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.